Good day everyone, our topic for today is all about t-test, comparing sample mean and population mean. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button for more updates. Also, you will find different subjects in this YouTube channel, just select the playlist section. And now let's start with the lesson, which is all about t-test, comparing sample mean and population mean. Alright. Before we proceed to this topic, let's first understand the t-test table that we were gonna use in um, comparing the, the computed value and the critical value. Okay, so let's start first understanding the t-test table. So this will be the table that we will be gonna use in solving t-tests. Okay, now um, you may download this in the... Um, in the Google or or any site, just uh, just uh, click or type t test table or t table, and you will have this kind of table. Now, for instance, uh, in the given problem, the given number of n, letter n, which is the population or a sample population, is ten. Uh, you will find the df first. How to get the df? To get the df, we have a formula n minus 1. I repeat, the formula is n minus 1. So, um, our given n is 10 for the sample population. So, therefore, the degree of freedom is 9. Because n minus 1 is equal to 10 minus 1, and that's equal to 9. So, we will just look for 9. Let's say... Our given uh, alpha or level of significance is 5% and we have one tail. Okay, one tail. Uh, if you know, if you want to know about the one tail, how to determine one tail and how to determine two tails, you may uh, click the description, uh, click on the description box the, um, the link that is, uh, that I put there. Uh, it is all about the easy tips in doing hypothesis testing, okay? So that you will learn there how to do one tail and how to do or how to determine if it is one tail or two tails. So let's say that our given is one tail with a level of significance which is 5%. So we will look for 5% here or 0 0.05 and that's it. At the shot. And then, this is our 0 0.05 level of significance, and D is 9. So, we will look for the intersection, and the area under this is 1.833. Okay, 1.833. So, that will be the critical value that we were going to use in solving, um, or in, uh, in determining if we will accept or reject our uh, computed value. Okay? Uh, another let's say our d uh, our n or the population uh, population or number of population uh, sample population is let's say 13 if it is 13 therefore just subtract 1 for the t test we will have 12 okay so we will have 12 here and then let's say that uh -huh, our uh, given tail is two tails with um let's say uh, 10 percent so we will look for 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 so here it is so our df is 12 and our um what they call this level of significance is 0 0.10 two tails and then we will look for the intersection and their area is 1.782 or the critical value for for uh, df, which is 12, two tails with level of significance 0 0.10 is 1.782. This 1.782, we, we, uh, we will use this in comparing our computed value so that we can decide whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. Alright? So, please download this as I um, discuss the remaining topic about our first lesson for the t-test, which is all about t-test for sample, uh, comparing sample mean and population mean. Alright? So, let's start with our lesson for today. And, okay. So, let's first uh, define what is t-test. 
So t test, the one sample t test determines whether the sample mean is statistically different from a known or hypothesized population mean. The one sample t test is a parametric test. Continue. Um, in a one sample t test, the variable is compared against a test value, which is known as or hypothesized value of the uh, mean in the population. Comparison of a uh, sample mean with population mean when standard deviation of a population is estimated from the sample. So that's the other definition of t-test. And the formula in solving the t-test is t equals the sample mean minus the population mean, which is the mu, over s, which is the sample standard deviation, over square root of n, which is the sample population. So this will be our formula that we will be going to use in solving a t-test problem. Where mean or x is the sample mean, mu is the population mean, s is the standard or sample standard deviation, n is the sample size or sample population. Alright, so let's have this one. Example 1. According to Department of Education, high school teacher uh, works an average of 40 hours per week. A district supervisor of a certain school surveyed 28 randomly selected teacher and found out that they were or uh, they work an average of 42.6 hours a week and the standard deviation was 3.75 hours. Test if the mean number of, a, of hours worked by teacher is the supervisor's school district differs from the average um, from the average or national average at 0 0.01 level of significance. All right. Uh, first, we will determine the uh, our um, HO and HA, our uh, alternative and the null hypothesis. Again, to understand how to do or how to uh, create hypotheses, uh, you may uh, select the link uh, on the description box, which is all about easy tips in doing hypothesis testing. Okay, so that we can con we can uh, not disrupt and continue to the discussion here. So our HO here is the mean number of hours worked by the teacher is the supervisor's uh, school district that do not differ from the national average. And the mean number of hours worked by the teacher is the supervisor's school district differs from the um, national average. So yung first one, do not differ, I mean to say they, they, they are not... Um, they are not different. They are just the same with the number national average and with the number of hours from the selected 28 members. By the way, we will use t-test pala if our given n is less than 30. I repeat, if our given n is less than 30, um, we will use t-test. If it is greater, greater than or equal to 30, we will use z-test. Okay, so you can watch my previous videos about z-test. So, since our given is 28, so we will use t-test here. And for the HA, differs from the national mean to say there, there is a significant difference between the two. Okay, so where did I get this uh, two hypotheses? Um, so, I just uh, get the imperative, okay, of this, ano, the imperative or yung pautos, no? Sabi, test if the mean of a number of hours worked by the teacher, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So, national average. And then, in nalist ko lang itong test if. Ginawa ko siyang statement. So, the number, the mean number of blah, blah, blah differs from the national average, which is a alternative hypothesis, and do not differ, which is a null hypothesis. Alright, let's continue. So, our, for the critical value, first we need to determine the alpha. And it's obvious in the problem that our alpha, a lever of significance, is 0 0.01. For the tailed, it's 2. Okay? Um, if you want to know uh, how uh, how to determine if it is one or two-tailed, again, you may click the description box below. So, it's two-tailed uh, here because of the word differs. No? Differs mean to say... Uh, there are some clue kasi for the t to determine if it is one tailed, one tailed or two tailed. So, uh, it the word differ is non-directional. So, two tailed siya. 
and then our n is 28, therefore our df is 27. Using the table that I presented a while ago, we will look for 27, and then for the two tilt with 0 0.01 alpha, we will get now the critical value by getting their intersection. And the critical value is 2.771. Okay. Now, uh, this, will, this critical value will be used in comparing our computed value later. Yung na-compute nating value. Co-compare natin, okay? And to determine if we will accept or reject the null hypothesis. Alright. So, let's continue. Now, let's solve uh, for step 3. So, n equals 28. That will be our first part. Uh, x is 42.6, s is 3.75, and the mu is 40. Okay? Uh, our given kasi dito, a uh, district supervisor sabi niya, randomly selected 28, so that's the end. From 28, na question ng 42.6, which is the uh, sample, sample mean. Eh, sample, ang, ang sample size natin na n, so therefore the sample mean is 42. And the s is 3.75, which is very obvious because it is on um, after the word standard deviation. And the mu is the 40, which is the national. National, I mean to say, ito yung kabuan. Ito yung alam nila. So, it's a population mean. Now, using the formula, we can now solve for this. Okay, we just substitute this with the formula. So, we will have the following. Okay? So, 42.6 minus 40 divide, uh, 3.75 divide, square root of 28. Okay, how to do this? First, I subtract this 2, so you will get 2.6. And then, 3.75 divided by square root of 28, pwede naman yun sa calculator, na diretso, you will get 0 0.7087. I am always requiring my students to write for decimal places in all the solution, except for the final answer. They can write two decimal places if they want. So, for the final answer, we have 3.67. Just divide 2.6 divided by 0 0.7087. And you will get 3.67 for the final answer. Round up your answer into two decimal places or nearest hundreds. Now, we will compare now our computed value and the critical value that I presented a while ago. The critical value is 2.771. Actually, this is a positive negative 2.771. Okay, why? Because, um... This part is negative 2.771, and this one is positive 2.771. Now, our computed value, okay, kapag nasa loob siya, as we all know, we will accept HO. Pag lumagpas yung answer natin, we will accept HA. So, our answer, ayan. Obviously, uh, it surpassed the uh, given critical value. So, we will accept HA as our Answer. Therefore, accept HA, the JHO, then go back to the hypothesis that we created in step 1. So, we will just write the uh, HA there, the, the hypothesis HA, which is the mean number of hours worked by the teachers from the supervisor school district differs from the national average. Okay, so that's the conclusion for the problem in number 1. So, to understand it better, let's have another example. So, Example 2. Your company wants to improve sales. So, they want to improve the sale of a company, right? So, past sales data indicated that the average sale was 500 per transaction. After training, your sale force, recent sales data, so taken from the sample of 20 salesmen, indicates an, an average sales of 700 with a standard deviation of 150. Okay, so they have... A training for the sales uh, salesmen with the 20, 20 salesmen. And then after that, they get an average of 700 with a standard deviation of 150. Oh, that's too big, huh? 150. Did the training work? That's the question. Uh, did the training work? Test your hypothesis at 0 0.05 alpha level. Okay. First, uh, write the hypothesis. So the training did not work. I mean to say there is no significant difference between the data that they got um, they, they got from last previous uh, sales to the present sale. And the training did work. I mean to say that there is a significant difference. Okay? Ah, tama ba? Yeah. There is a significant difference between the two. Okay? Maybe mas mataas yung ngayon or mas mababa yung ngayon. So, um... Okay, 
For the alpha, we have 0 0.01, uh, 0 0.5, I mean, tilde, 2 tilde siya. Why it is 2 tilde? Because of the word the training did works and the training did not work. Okay, from the word not, mean to say, or there is no any clue for a directional. Mean to say they are non-directional, so it's 2 tilde. N is 20, and the DF is 19, obviously, and minus 1, 19. And looking to the critical value for this, using 0 0.05, 2 tilde 19, you will get 2.093, okay, as our critical value. Okay, you can just check it using your table if you download it already. Now, let's have the given. For the given, we have N20, X700, 150, N500. 500. So, originally, they got 20 salesmen and they got an average of 700 from Anderson standard deviation 150 the original is they have a 500 sales for the whole sales yon okay but in a representation of 20 they have only 700 now using this formula just substitute the given all right so this is our uh, given substituted from the formula and you will get this one so 700 minus 500 is 200 150 divide square root of 20 that's 33.5410 again for decimal places for the solution and for the final answer, you have 5.96. Okay, now let's compare. Obviously, mas mataas yung nakuha natin, right? So, um, this is a uh, nominal curve. This is a positive negative 2.093 as our critical value. If in inside, we will accept HO. If outside, we will accept HA. Oops! Lumagpas. That's positive 5.96. Therefore, we will accept HA. And the conclusion is, the training did work. So, nag-work yung training, okay? The, the training is very effective for the salesman to sell um, 700, tama ba? Sales, okay? With standard deviation of 150. Okay, that's it for t-test comparing sample mean and population mean. Our next topic is all about a t-test for independent variables, okay? So, we will use another, uh, we will use the same a table there but different uh, if I'm mistaken it's different degree of freedom um, formula alright with that thank you very much for listening and good day